Yo guys, this is Reinhardt and this is gonna be an awesome video because we're gonna be not analyzing the crap out of the case in 5.4 and first of all, I would like to introduce Jivats. Jivats? Hey, it's uh, Jivats here, known in game and uh, I was a 1900 DK before I meet Reinhardt after learning the, the better spec, the how to do damage properly and change up my keybinds, I was able to hit 2200 in 2s, 3s and almost 5s. So, yeah. So guys, you know that there's two different players. There are bad players, us, and then there's the professional players, Koreans, who come up with some kind of game-breaking, weird, fucked up meta that actually works. So this video is going to be about the spec that is so convolutionally different from other specs that it actually works. The first thing that they change with this build is instead of going blood tap, they went runic corruption. You guys might be thinking, why runic corruption? Why don't go blood tap? The reason being is unholy DKs generally go unholy presence to for blood tap to be better than runic corruption. But in reality, we are very squishy, so if we go unholy presence, we're more likely gonna get one shorted by mongoloid mages. To for us to survive in an arena game, we start using something called a blood presence. And in Blood Presence, Rinic Corruption actually does more damage than Blood Tap. So Reinhardt would go over the mathematics behind it, but I'm gonna go over the stats part. First of all, you would wanna go Haste over Mastery instead of Mastery over Haste, where most people is going right now. The reason being is Gargoyle is affected by your Haste, so the more Haste you have, the, more gar the faster Gargoyle will cast. So if you go haste over mastery, it's actually a lot more damage from your burst than going mastery over haste, for this build at least. And we have tested it and it hasn't been proven that way. Now let me get a few disclaimers first and kind of my personal opinion. I think mastery could work over haste potentially, but it all depends on which comp you're running and your uptime on the target. Haste gets really really good when you have a really good uptime on the target and so is really corruption. On some elements where you actually don't have a lot of uptime, you um, use the seed most of the time, this is where actually mastery gets better because there's a lot more passive damage kicks in while you are CC'd or you are being kited. And Runic Corruption is a great ability, especially if you can get a hands on something, but sometimes if you are perma kited or if you're fighting against maybe like mage other caster, Sometimes it's just really good to go blood tap because you are Lana siding half of the game and you want to just uh, get those stacks up and ready so when you're doing a hard switch burst you could actually utilize those stacks for a death runs. But in the most cases this pack is surprisingly more effective. So here we're gonna do a test on like a DPS race style so basically Ryan is gonna use the blood tap mastery over haste and I'm gonna use runic corruption haste over mastery. And we're going to do about a minute or so of damaging the dummy. We're both going to be in Blood Presence too, so this is going to show the damage that we'll be doing in Blood Presence. Okay, let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Start countdown. Three, two, one, go. Now the reason why we guys picked the 85 level dummy is very very simple. It's because, you know, uh, we can won't be buried and miss so we're gonna try to eliminate some of that RNG out of this so and as you guys can see I'm actually having a pretty significant uh, dead zones even now Gwad is winning by about 10% but as soon as the trinkets are down and my diseases are down because my diseases do tick a little bit more and I refresh them uh, with a prog trinket, the number is supposed is expected to go actually drastically different. Okay, Gods is breaking 60k, and I'm sitting at 56k DPS for now. And he's doing consistent. And you see my DPS is actually going down, and I'm doing about 15% less DPS than him because I'm actually stuck in those dead zones where I cannot do much. Okay, cool. Right. So here, 
So let's summarize here really quickly. For Runic Corruption, it actually does offer your best single target DPS of all three different talents. The scale is extremely good with haste. The more haste you have, the more effective Runic Corruption actually gets. Uh, Gargoyle does way more damage with haste. And usually, if you want to go to that spec, you have to pick haste over mastery. For the blood top, blood top is usually more flexible. It provides more AOE damage via mastery stacking, and usually blood top is better if you succeed all the time. Example for against the double casters, I probably would go with the blood top because we have a limited amount of time before we get succeed uh, to wail on the enemy caster and probably do a little bit of a heavy burst and that's what the BT does. It does provide a bit of a better burst compared to Runic Corruption. But Runic Corruption overall does more single target damage. Also with the blood tap it's much easier not to drop your necrotic stacks compared to Runic Corruption simply because of the flexibility. As always check out the GWAT channel. Uh, he, gave, he got 2105, 2200s in 2s and 3s this season. So he went from 1900 to 2200, we've been practicing a lot and he got a lot better as a player. And as always guys, thanks for watching my Russian ads and до свидания until the next video my friends.